to my channel. My name is Mandy Glam. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. If you are already a Mandy Glam family member, thank you so much for stopping back by and watching another video with me. If you are someone that's into fragrances, smelling good, or maybe you're in the market to buy a specific type of perfume and you need more information on it, then this is the channel for you. Mostly what I talk about on my channel is fragrances. I do talk about other things like hair and makeup and stuff like that, but for the most part, all I talk about is fragrances because I love to smell good. Uh, yeah, so if that is your vibe, if that's your jam, then go ahead and click the subscription button and go ahead and click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss out, okay? So this is going to be part two of fragrances I'll be wearing this fall. So um, I hope you guys saw the last uh, fragrance fall fragrance video I did. If not, I'll link it down below in the description box. So I love fall. I don't know about y'all, but here in Texas, I'm in Houston, we really don't have much of a fall. Like when I was a little girl, I do remember like the leaves changing colors and it would start to get cool. Like right around Halloween. I, uh, for some reason, I always remember Halloween being like one of the coldest days and I always knew that was just the beginning of fall. But with the climate change and I don't know what's going on in the world, but there's been a change, there's been a shift. The leaves don't turn, um, you know, like they used to, like the pretty fall colors, like the gold and the brown and the reds and stuff like that. I really do miss that. I went back and I looked at my fragrance collection and I was like, girl, you have way more fall and winter fragrances. You need to talk about them, okay? Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Vince Carmudo. Um, I actually, I want to say this is the original. If you are not familiar with Vince Carmudo, he has several flankers of his fragrances. Um, I want to say this is the original of uh, Vince Carmudo. Um, I bought this several years ago while I was on a trip in New Orleans and I fell in love with it at first sniff. Now this has a very mature vibe to it. I don't think uh, younger people are going to be into this fragrance. This is definitely going to be a fall wintertime fragrance for me. Um, the note that sticks out the most in this fragrance is going to be a leather note. There is a leather note and also if I'm not mistaken this fragrance has rum in it like rum absolute or something like that but this is definitely for like I reserve this fragrance definitely for days where it's like super cold outside like we're talking about um, something in the 40s low 50s like it's really cold outside like that's when I pull this one out. As you can see, I've used half of the bottle so that lets y'all know how I feel about the fragrance. I really do like it. Even though it has more of a mature vibe, I still feel like it's perfect for those super cold months. You know, for this is Aura. Um, this is an Eau de Parfum. I bought this one probably in January or February of this year. I can't remember. I know I've had it for a while now. Um, this is going to be a, a green vanilla fragrance. Now, you know when you're dealing with Mugler, you're going to get some unusual fragrances. <laughs> you're going to get some very interesting bottles, okay? you already Y'all already know how Mugler is coming. You know, they're very different when it comes to fragrances. They think, like, really, really outside the box. I, I guess you would say it could be a woody oriental fragrance, but... I don't really know how to categorize it. I know it's definitely oriental. At first initial spray, it does come off very medicinal. I've talked about this fragrance before. If you guys are familiar with that green alcohol that, you know, old folks rub on their joints and stuff like that, that's what it's giving in the first initial spray. Once that dries down, you get a very um, green smell. You still get a green note. 
Um, I feel like it comes off kind of like a mossy, wet green notes, kind of like a pond. And then you also get like a vanilla. Original so, Prada candy. Um, I just, I simply adore this. I also, there's some flankers that I really do like from the Prada candy line. Um, but I can't think of them right now. But as far as this one, this one gives me a very cozy feeling. I feel like I'm getting like caramel. I'm getting like vanilla. It um it definitely could be a gourmand for me. Um, I just really adore it. I feel like it's just perfect for cooler months. As y'all can see, the juice is really brown. Or like a tan color, you know, almost. But and I'm gonna tell y'all another thing. This actually kind of comes off like a lipstick smell like it smells like a lipstick to me but i used to spray this and i also would spray the country girl by bath and body works and i don't know i just randomly did it one day and it just gave me just a beautiful beautiful scent all day and i feel like it made this fragrance last longer i will be honest with y'all and tell y'all it kind of lacks um in longevity and projection um but it's still a really really good fragrance i feel like for me i probably will get like a four hour wear out of this if i'm gonna go somewhere like if i'm wearing it um in the daytime and i want to wear it at night i'm definitely gonna have to respray jacob's decadence this is the original fragrance. Y'all, I've had this bottle for so long. It has taken me forever to go halfway through this bottle. I'm going to stop buying 3.4 fluid ounces. That's a tongue twister. Blah, blah, blah. Um, because I feel like, you know, the product, like, you know, I just feel like I don't want to waste the juice, you know. But it's literally taken me forever to work through this bottle because it's so huge but you know when i first got this fragrance i actually wore it more in the summertime for some reason but now that i i have it and I'm, i've been smelling it trying to because i'm getting ready to switch out my fragrances i feel like this is more appropriate for the fall and winter time now this has a lot going on okay this has plum um, this has saffron, this has iris, this has rose, I believe it has vetiver. There's a lot going on in here. Y'all can see the juice is really dark. And again, most of the fragrances that I reserve for fall and winter, the juice is always dark. Um, but the plum is very deep. That's what I get in initial spray. I get the plum, I get saffron, and then in the dry down, I get the vetiver. Um, and other notes, but I, but I think I'm gonna switch it up this year, and I'm gonna grab it more um, for the winter time because I think this is a totally appropriate fragrance to wear for winter, and I think it's gonna perform really really nicely in the cooler uh, months. So we'll see. Men's cologne. This is uh, Spice Bomb by Victor and Roth. I'm gonna just spray a little bit here. Because, again, I use, I only just wear this, like, in the uh, cooler months. This is going to be a... Wow, this is so good. This is kind of coming off at initial spray. Kind of like an incense. I'm getting um, amber. I'm getting sandalwood. And it might have a little bit of citrus in here as well. But it is really, really delicious. I think I might get a little bit of spicy note like nutmeg in here y'all know i love nutmeg and fragrances um i think i love nutmeg and fragrances almost more than i love patchouli and fragrances it's something about nutmeg and fragrances that get me every time but this is really really good this is very spicy hence the name spice bomb so you know how it's coming okay but i think this is a really really good fragrance to wear um, in the cooler months, if you are into spicy fragrances, um, incense type fragrances, I think you'll enjoy this one. And I really, really don't bring out that much. This is um, by Givenchy. This is Organza Andese. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Andese. 
Um, and I've simply adored this fragrance for years. This is another spicy, I'm not going to spray it because if I'm not mistaken, I think this is discontinued. But if you guys know where I can find this, please comment down below because I am on the hunt for another bottle. I just want to have another one in my collection. Um, this is another one I reserve for date nights when it's cold outside. Um, this one just is very comforting to me. It's a gourmand to me. It has a lot of depth. It also has a nutmeg spicy component to it that I really, really do love. And surprisingly, I've had this one for years in um, this particular bottle and it hasn't turned on me. There's also, I want to say patchouli in this fragrance. So patchouli tends to hold fragrances for a while, you know, keeps them from turning or whatever from what I've noticed. But this is a very decadent, um, delicious, spicy, sweet fragrance that I really, really do love. I want to say next to the Angel, original Angel, this was probably my very first gourmand type fragrance. Like, you know, that I had in my collection. I didn't know the term back then that it was a gourmand, but I really do adore this. So, I'm a Karen Woman. Now, this is one of those funny fragrances. Y'all see the juice is really clear, right? And, but it comes with a bang. This is very intense. This is very deep. Um, it's very mysterious. As you can see, like the bottle itself is like a piece of art. So, you know, the juice, the juice is very, very mysterious. So the notes in the Donna Karen include sandalwood, vetiver, and orange blossom. Um, this fragrance is described to be a woody, aromatic, white, earthy, powdery fragrance. Um, and I definitely get that in the dry down, the powdery note in it. Um, this fragrance is, is very long lasting and it has a lot of projection. It's so much long lasting when I wore it one time. Literally the next day, somebody called me and was like, I literally can still smell you in my car. Like, this one is a beast. Sure. And this is, I know I'm going to mess up on the name. This is uh, Esprit de Oscar by Oscar de la Renta. And I absolutely love the bottle. It just reminds me of something kind of old school glamour. And I really, really do like that. Now, this one reminds me a lot of uh, Burberry, uh, the Burberry Brit Rhythm, the Flanker Rhythm. Um, it's very powdery, so this is going to be lemon, bergamot, um, orange blossom, tuberose. And, I, and, and the tuberose is well blended in this fragrance because you guys know I am not a big fan of tuberose at all. So, good thing that the tuberose is well blended in this because I would totally have to sell it because I, I don't do tuberose. And now, I do have a few fragrances that have tuberose in it, but again, it's very well blended. So, yeah, this is a floral fragrance. Um... With a little citrus that dries down very powdery. So, of a very, like a fluffy sweater or like a throw. Like I could see myself um, sitting in front of the fireplace with a nice throw. Like drinking hot chocolate or tea and wearing this fragrance. That's what this, refer this fragrance reminds me of a lot. This is Club de Nuit by Armoth. And the reason why I picked this one is because... It reminds me of Coco Mademoiselle, okay? This is a Coco Mademoiselle um, inspired fragrance or dupe, if you will. Um, I don't mind um, dupe or alternative fragrances. As y'all know, I have an alternative fragrance for the Baccarat Rouge 540 that I absolutely love. Um, I have a few fragrances by Dossier that I absolutely adore too. Um, but, you know, 
this is a really 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 good fragrance and it just happens to smell exactly like Coco Mademoiselle now I do have some I do have a bottle of the original uh, Coco Mademoiselle but it's in the Eau de Toilette version um, so I do want to get at some point the Eau de Parfum so that's on my list of things to get but um, I do reserve the Coco Mademoiselle for the cooler months I just feel like um, it goes better with my like my skin and my chemistry in the cooler months there's something about um, the notes in the fragrance that just remind me more of a um, more of a winter fall fragrance versus wearing it in the summertime the top notes in this fragrance include uh, bergamot, grapefruit, peach, orange the middle notes include geranium, jasmine lychee and rose in the base notes you get a musk patchouli vanilla and vetiver so um patchouli vanilla and vetiver like and bergamot i mean those all scream fall wintertime fall for me this is the nina richie um and i don't know if i'm saying this right it's el extas Le Extas, I think it's like Le Ecstasy. Le Extas. I don't know. This is the Nina Ritchie. <laughs> uh, okay, so this fragrance is uh, described as a balsamic, sweet, fruity, rose caramel fragrance. And um, you guys, I'm not going to lie, when I first bought it, it was a blind buy. I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit on one of these cards that you really need to spray on your skin I think wow that is pretty Ooh, mm. you know and I get the caramel the caramel is really prominent in this fragrance and I think what throws me off in this fragrance is the caramel and the rose combination I've never smelled a caramel rose combination before because I usually tend to stay away from fragrances that have rose in it um now it at initial spray y'all know I talked about this fragrance before I didn't care for it but baby in the dry down it does something so magical on my skin so sexy that I really really cannot wait to wear this fragrance when it gets cold like this is going to be one of the first fragrances i grab for as soon as the weather changes because it is really nice and it was not expensive at all but anyway it's a fabulous fragrance it's really really good i cannot wait to test it out very very good fragrance you guys so that is my Fall Fragrances Part 2. I knew I had other... I was like, there's no way I can make one fall fragrance video because, like I said, 75% of my fragrances probably fall under the fall, winter uh, time range um, because I'm just... I like those type of notes. But, yeah, if you have any of these fragrances, comment below. Uh, let me know what you guys think of them. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know about that too. Don't forget, let me know where I can find the Organza Andesans. If you know where I can get a bottle of this, comment down below and let me know that as well. Um, I really do appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you stayed all the way through to the whole video, um, thank you so much. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the thumbs up button. Um, that lets me know that you guys really enjoy this video and my content on my channel. Also, um, if you are interested in more fragrance videos, go ahead and subscribe um, and click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for your love and support and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.